So today the last speaker is Garima from IIT Bhuvaneswar, and uh, she will be speaking on deleted com space. Yeah, Garima, you may begin. Hello, everyone. My name is Garima. I am a second semester, uh, third semester student at IIT Bhuvaneswar, and today I'll be speaking about the deleted com space. So let's begin. So uh, today the topic of my presentation is uh, deleted com space, uh, which is a space uh, that is connected but it is not path connected. So uh, before moving into the com space, we will first look at some definitions regarding connected spaces and path connected spaces and its properties because we will be needing those while discussing about the com space. So uh, firstly, what a connected uh, space means. So a topological space is said to be connected if and only if the only subsets of X that are both open and closed are the empty set and the space itself. What does this mean? That if I am in a topological space X tau, then I cannot have a proper subset of the space which is both open and closed. In such a case, the space is known as a connected space. So the first question is that, is the R, that is the set of all real numbers with the usual topology, is this a connected space? So the answer to this is yes, because if I consider any open set, any subset of set, uh, R proper subset, it can't be both open and closed because the open sets in usual topology are the open intervals and it's uh, not a closed set. So R with the usual topology is a connected space. Uh, next, I will look at as important characterization of connectedness, uh, which is a topological space is connected if and only if every continuous function from the space to R such that the image is contained in the set minus one one is a constant map. So this means that if I need to see that a space is connected or not, then instead of looking at the above definition, I can use this equivalent characterization because in certain cases, this characterization makes my task easier in proving certain things. What I have to do that if I consider a continuous function and if this function becomes a constant map where the image is in minus one, one, then we say that this space is connected. So as an important application of this characterization, we can look at this property which is which says that if A and B are two connected subspaces of the space X such that their intersection is non-empty, in that case their union will also be connected. So a uh, proof, a short proof can be seen using this characterization and it really makes it easy to prove this. Next we'll be looking at this um, question that the image of a connected space under a continuous map is connected. This is a property of connected spaces and continuous map and uh, using this we can uh, the, the question is that is a line in R2 connected as a subspace of R2. So this is a true statement and it can be seen as an easy application of this property because a line can be considered as a continuous image of the interval of a connected interval in the real line. So a line in R2 is a connected space. Next uh, question is that R2 intersecting lines in um, R2 connected as a subspace of R2. So what do you think about it and how can we answer this regarding whatever we have discussed till now? So the answer to this is yes, because we have seen that a line is connected and from the previous point uh, that we saw that if the intersection is non-empty, their union is also non-empty. Next is that let A be a connected subspace of X. So if a set B lies between A and its closure, then B is also connected. So what does this say? That if some space lies between a connected space and its closure, then this space itself becomes connected and this we will be needing very much when we discuss about the comb space. Now we move on to path connectedness and before moving to path connectedness, we 
talk about what is meant by a path so given any two points x and y of the space x a path in x from x to y is a continuous function from the interval a b to x such that f maps the initial point to the point x and it maps the final point b to the point y so here instead of a b we can consider any closed interval in the on the set of real lines and when we are dealing with the comb space when we will be dealing with the comb space we will take ab to be the interval 0 1 for the ease of the proof and a space is said to be path connected if every pair of points in the space can be joined by a path which lies in the space x now the question that i want to ask is that is a path connected space connected and uh, this is uh, easy to see that a path connected space is always a connected space so having this the next question should be is the converse also true and based on this question uh, we have the following examples that the converse is not true and to see that there exist connected spaces which are not path connected the most famous examples are the topologies sine curve and the second one is the deleted comb space and here we will be looking only at the deleted comb space so now let us begin with the study of the comb space so till now any questions okay so then we can now proceed so to study about the comb space we will consider the following sets the first one is the set of the real x axis which lies between 0 and 1 that is we are considering all the points from 0 to 1 lying on the x axis next is the set m that is all the points on the y axis which lies between 0 and 1 and again we will consider this third kind of sets which are the points of the type 1 by n comma y where y ranges from 0 to 1 and we will define these sets for all the natural numbers so how does this look like this will look like uh, we will have all the points on the x axis which lies between 0 and 1 and at all the points of the form 1 by n where n is a natural number we will be having vertical lines standing on these points of length 1 so now if we define y to be the union of all these lines which are standing on the points 1 by k along with the line l that is the part of the x axis between 0 and 1 then that space we will denote by the denote by y and this is how the space will look like that is we will have a line at the point 1 we will have another at the point 1 by 2 and uh, like this we will have line standing at each point 1 by k and as we move towards the point 0 we will see that here the density of the lines eventually increases and we will not include the line m that we defined here that is the part of the y axis between 0 and 1 in this definition of y so what we can see that the space y that we have obtained now by the union of all these lines this is a path connected space and this is also a connected space so now what my question is that what is y closure that is the uh, how will the closure of y look like and what are the cluster points of y in r2 to answer this we will see that if we take any point on this vertical line standing at the point 0 then and consider an open ball around this point then this will always have infinitely many lines of this space that are very close to this vertical line right so this open ball will always have infinitely many points of the space y that we define here so every point on this vertical line m is a cluster point of the set y and so that's it is every point on the line m is a cluster point of y so the closure of y is equal to y union the line m now the question is is y bar that is the closure of y connected uh, we can see this 
from the diagram itself that when we include this line also the space remains still remains connected the next question is is y bar path connected and this is also true y bar becomes path connected so uh, and this space y bar that we have obtained by adjoining y and its cluster points this space is known as the comb space so what we have now is a connected space and its closure so uh, as when we uh, when i started i told that we are trying to we will discuss a space which is connected but it is not path connected so now having a connected space and its closure what should be my idea to construct a new space which is connected using this two spaces Uh, the idea will be we choose a space which lies between these two spaces because we saw earlier that if a space which lies between a connected space and its closure then that space eventually becomes connected itself so to to uh, construct a new space we will choose a space which lies between these two spaces now if i want to construct a space which lies between these two spaces that is y and its closure then what does it mean that i have to delete some points from the closure of y and all the points of the y will be in the space and that's why the space that we are going to no uh, discuss now is known as the deleted comb space because we are deleting some points from the space y bar which is the comb space to get our new space so uh, we define some other note uh, notations one is the point p that is i'll take the point 0 1 lying on the y axis and either i will take the point q on the x axis that is 1 0 and i will take x as the union of y <coughs> and the point p so what will x look like let us just see again in the diagram that x will be this space y along with this point 0 1 that is on the y axis we will not be having all these points from the closure of y in the space x and this space x is known as the deleted comb space one thing to note here is that instead of the point q that is uh, instead of the point p sorry that is 0 1 we can choose any point from the y axis uh, except the origin which is in the space so as a representative of that point i have taken the point 0 1 so this space x is known as the deleted comb space so my question is that is the space x connected so that is true because that's how we constructed x we chose the space between y and its closure and so the space x is connected now is it path connected so the answer to this will be reduce now that x is not a path connected space and uh, so we will show that this is not a path connected space and now how to show that some space is not path connected so the definition of path connected says that a space is path connected if there exists a path in the space between any two points lying in the space so to show that something is not path connected what do i need to do i need to produce a pair of points such that there does not exist any path in the space which connects these two points right so that's what we will do now so on the contrary we will assume that there exists a path gamma in the space x which joins the point p to the point q that we have defined now that p is the point 0 1 and q is the point 1 0 so since gamma is a path by the definition of path this is a continuous map from 0 1 to the space x such that gamma of 0 is the point p and gamma of 1 is the point q now gamma is a map from 0 1 to the space x and x is x is a space in the plane so whenever we find the value of gamma at any point t lying in 0 1 we will have two coordinates for this gamma first one we will denote by gamma 1 of t and second one we will denote by gamma 2 of t now what my question is that is it sufficient to show that gamma 1 of t equals 0 for every t belonging to 0 1 
So what if I show this that uh, for every points in the interval 0, 1, I'm getting the first coordinate of this map as always 0. Then how does this prove that uh, the space is not path connected? Okay, so this proves that the space is not path connected because when I show that gamma 1 of t equals to 0 for all the points, this means that any path in x which begins from the point p does not leave the point p because in the space x I do not have any other point except the origin which has the first coordinate as 0 because all other points that I have in the space lie on the vertical lines standing at the points 1 by k, right? So if I exclude the origin, then there does not exist any other point which have the first coordinate as 0. So that's how I can prove that the space is not path connected by showing that the first coordinate is 0. So let us begin for the proof. Now gamma is a continuous function which means it is continuous at the point t equals to 0 and we already have by the definition of path that gamma of 0 must be equal to the point p, right? So what we do is we consider an open ball around the point p of radius r. By continuity of the function gamma, what we get, we get, an, we get a delta which is a positive delta such that image of this interval image of we get an open interval around the point zero such that its image under gamma is contained inside this open ball around the point p now why is this open ball closed at the point zero because we are considering the open ball in the space zero one and in the space zero one an open ball around zero will be closed at the point zero while it will be open on the right so that's what I'm considering here. I'm taking an open ball around the point zero and its image will be con con contained in this intersection. Okay. So now the next step is that since gamma is a continuous function, gamma one will also be continuous. That is the first coordinate map is also a continuous function. Also the second coordinate, which is the gamma two, that will also be a continuous map. But since now we only have to deal with gamma one, so we will look we will see only the continuity of the function gamma 1. Now gamma 1 is a continuous map and we already have seen when uh, while seeing connectedness then the continuous map of a connected set is again a continuous image of a connected set is again a connected set. So gamma 1 of 0 delta is again connected. Now my claim is that gamma 1 of t is equal to 0 for all the points t lying in this interval. So if not, then what does this mean that there exists a point c belonging to 0 delta such that gamma 1 of c is not equal to 0. That's what this means that if uh, gamma 1 of t is not equal to 0, uh, gamma 1 of t is non-zero, if this claim is not true, then there is at least one point for which gamma 1 of c is not equal to 0. Now, if gamma 1 of c is not equal to 0, what does gamma 1 of c look like? Will it be greater than 0? Will it be less than 0? Or even if it is uh, greater than 0, then how will it look like? So the answer to this is that gamma 1 of c will always be of the form 1 by k for some natural number k. Because the space that we are considering has only uh, the x coordinate as of the points as 1 by n. The points are on the vertical line standing at 1 by k. So gamma 1 of c will be greater than 0 and it will be of the form 1 by k for some natural number k. Now image of the point c under gamma 1 is a point on the vertical line standing at 1 by k. That's what we have seen here. Now what the next step is that I'll choose an irrational number as lying between 0 and 1 by k. I can do this. So this will give us a separation of the image of the interval 0 delta under gamma 1, which will give us a contradiction. And how does this give us a separation? Since S is an irrational number, so we already have seen that gamma 1 of 0 delta should be a connected set, right? And if I take an irrational number and if I take the image of uh, this interval up to 0 to S and then S to 1 by k, then that 
sets we are getting as the image set will give us a disconnection of gamma 1 of 0 delta and this will give us a contradiction and why did we get this contradiction we got this contradiction because of our assumption that gamma 1 of c is not equal to 0 for some c lying in this interval so what we conclude is that for all the points in this interval we must have the its image under gamma 1 should be equal to 0 so now the next question is is gamma 1 of delta also equal to 0 and if it's 0 then how can we say that so why are we saying that gamma 1 of delta is equal to 0 because what we need to prove is that for all the points in the interval 0 to 1 i have to say that gamma 1 of all those points is 0 so delta is lying between this in this interval 0 to 1 so if i can say that gamma 1 of delta is 0 then till the point 0 to delta i'll be proving that all for all the points the image under gamma 1 is 0 because uh, we have already seen that for all the points in between 0 and delta its image under gamma 1 is 0 so is this also true we can see this by considering a sequence in 0 delta which converges to delta now gamma 1 is a continuous map so gamma 1 of a n will converge to gamma 1 of delta and since a n belongs to this interval so for all a n for all the um, for all the terms in the sequence a n its image under gamma 1 will be 0 so eventually we will get that gamma 1 of delta is also 0 so for all the points t in the closed interval 0 to delta its image under gamma 1 becomes 0 so what should be our next step we wanted to prove that for all the points in between 0 and 1 its image under gamma 1 is 0 and we have already proven this till the point delta so if we can show this for the remaining points in the interval delta to 1 then our work work will be done right so if we can or we can show that if delta is equal to 1 then also we are done so for this we will consider a set a which consists of all the points in the interval 0 1 for which its image under gamma 1 is equal to 0 so is a non empty a is certainly non empty because we have already shown that gamma 1 of delta is equal to 0 and we uh, choose delta to be a point in 0 1 so a is certainly a non empty set and if this is a non empty set we can talk about its supremum so the does supremum of a also belong to the set a and this is also true because just like we considered a sequence an which converges to delta we can consider a sequence in this set which converges to the supremum of the set now for all the points of the sequence its image under gamma 1 will be 0 because sequence we are taking from the set a so eventually we will get that the supremum of a will also belong to set there uh, belong to the set a that is gamma 1 of supremum of a will also be 0 so now what remains to be proven is the final step is that uh, supremum of a is equal to 1 if we can show this then 1 also belongs to the set a and so for all the points in the set 0 1 we will be having that its image under gamma 1 will be 0 so on the contrary let us consider that the supremum doesn't belong supremum of a is not equal to 1 in that case supremum will be strictly less than 1 and as before we can get a point d in this open inter in this uh, semi closed interval so a to the to 1 such that the image of the point d under the map gamma 1 is greater than 0 which will again be of the form 1 by k for some natural number k and just like before we can consider an irrational number between that 1 by k dash see and the point 1 and we will get a separation of this inter this set but since gamma 1 is continuous its uh, image image of this under gamma 1 should also be connected so this will give us a contradiction and so we must have that the image 
of 1 under gamma 1 should also be equal to 0. That is for all the points in 0, 1, we must have gamma 1 of t equals to 0. So, this proves that gamma is a constant path because when we started from the point P, what we saw is that the image of all the points under the path will again have first coordinate as 0. That is, if the path starts from the point P, it will never leave the point P. So, gamma becomes a constant path and the deleted comb space is not path connected. So, that's what the proof is. Thank you. Thank you, Garima, for the nice talk. Any questions? Yeah, Garima, uh, yes. what can you say about uh, the connectedness of uh, comb space if uh, we remove any one point, like one point from anywhere? What can you tell about its connectedness? Uh, sorry, I didn't get your question. Can you please repeat yeah. it? Okay. So, if we remove one point from mm -hmm. uh, from the set, the comb space, from anywhere, mm -hmm. like that may be from y-axis or uh, other other parts, what can you uh, say about its connectedness? So, if we remove any point from the y-axis, then it will again lie between the space y and its closure. So, it will be connected. But when we remove the point from some other line that is standing on 1 by k, then that space will not lie between y and its closure. So that space, uh, it will be connected. Okay. So. So if you're removing something other than the y-axis, right? Yes. Just to it will not, right? It will not be connected. Okay. Yeah. So okay. one more thing. Yeah, one more thing. Like if you uh, consider a mirror image uh, with respect to y-axis, the same comb space. Okay. Yeah. Except the like uh, on y-axis, you have only uh, this uh, zero one that point. What can you uh, tell about that space? About connectedness? Yeah. Uh, like uh, I am taking the mirror image of uh, all the points except the point 0, 1 on y axis. Yeah, I mean 0, 1 that point is there only. That is there. And okay, 0, 1 is there and I am taking the mirror image of other points. Yeah. Yeah, that space, uh, that space will be connected. What about path connectedness? It will, it will not be path connected because the point zero one will not will not be able to connect it to any other path point in the space. Correct, correct. Okay. Okay. Let me ask one question. Uh, yes. So, can you classify all points in the com space? If you remove that point, it will still be path connected. What are those points? If you remove them from the comp space, still it will be path connected. I can remove all the points on the y-axis and it will be path connected. No, all the points. No, I'm asking you, you are allowed to remove only one point at a time. Okay. So, it still remains to be path connected. Yeah. If I remove the points uh, one by k, right, is the endpoints of the vertical lines above exactly. endpoint, and it will be path connected. And also the vertical line, the endpoint, yeah, zero one. Point. Yeah, zero one. That is. But these are the only ones. Uh, I can also remove the point. No, I cannot remove any other point. Yeah. So Think these are the point. only points. So. Right. Okay. Great. Thank you very much for the nice talk and also the, the answering the questions. Garima. Thank you, sir. So uh, this brings us to the end of 
the session two of the SSP, uh, I hand over to Fatima. Uh, 